Hey there people, what is going on? Ryan White for High Point Music and today we've got a really, really cool topic we're going to take a look at. I'm going to go through and give you guys a demonstration, a short tutorial on how you can create some really luscious and beautiful, almost string-like soundscapes with your guitar just using a few basic effects. So let's do a little bit of a demo of what we're talking about here today. have it people a few examples of how you can create really luscious soundscapes on your guitar strap yourself in we're going to drop this intro on the other side and show you how to create it all at home First things first, people, all I was using to create those demos in the introduction was three simple effects. So the first one I had was a delay, which is an auto volume. The second one I was using was an octave reverb. And the third one was just a really clean digital delay. So let's go through, I'm going to show you each of the effects individually and then how you can combine them to create those soundscapes and recreate them. And then on top of that, you can have a really awesome little platform so you can experiment, throw in some extra effects if you've got some at home, so you can be creating these awesome textures. So let's jump over to my pedal board over here. So the first one I've got here is an auto volume echo. So a few chords just to hear what it sounds like. Well, as you can see there, the name is pretty self-explanatory. What's going on is the delay is actually taking the attack off the guitar signal and it's swelling in. So that creates really nice volume pedal effect that we've got there. So jumping over to the octave reverb, which is the second one I was just talking about before. So. There, along with our guitar signal that you can hear floating through, you've got those really beautiful tails that are just almost like a string section accompanying you behind. So I really love this effect. Very, very atmospheric, that one. And the third one we're going to jump on and have a look at is just a straight digital delay here. So I've got this one set really, really cleanly. I haven't swept out any of the treble, any of the bass. So, so we've got. So pretty much that's all we've got going on there. So using those three effects, I'm gonna come up with a bunch of different variations and ways you can combine them to create really beautiful soundscapes. So the first one, we're going to combine on the pedal board over here is we're going to put the auto volume echo with the octave reverb all right so let's check out what this sound does so first chord so we've got those really beautiful tails rolling in I really dig that sound. So what's going on here is the auto volume is actually taking the attack and swelling in the guitar signal. So we're getting that volume swell coming in. But on top of that, after we, you can hear the reverb is just streaming in over the top of that one. So you've got a real, there's two layers there going on, which is very, very cool, which is very, very important in sound design and helps you have a bit of depth there with our guitar signal. So that's really, really useful if you just want to have very ambient chords. Also works really well if you want to have a little bit more busier harmony, so sort of jazz harmony, your half diminished or your Lydian scale, like 
like that. Also, you can use it to really swell in. If you're going through some, some three, six, two, five ones, like that. Very, very cool effect just to create that atmosphere there. All right, people, so the second example I played in the introduction, so I was using the octave reverb with the digital delay, and this one was set up to sound a little bit like U2, or the edge out of U2, I should say. So we've got that really clean digital delay keeping our guitar tone up front, and then in the background, we've got our octave reverb bringing those string-like tones and atmosphere to the back of it there, so. So as I said, just describing that before, you've got the guitar up front. And then those really nice sounds coming in over the top. And then if you get your delay set, you can try and do the. constant drone tone underneath and then play around with your chord voicings over the top of that one there. All right, people, so we're gonna jump on to a third sound here. So what I'm gonna do, jumping over onto our pedal board, is I'm gonna combine them all together. So what this is going to give us, I'll play through a voicing, just a straight major seven there. So this is a really, really cool one. And the thing I really love about what's going on here is that just pay attention to my playing technique, how I'm arpeggiating the chords here, because, okay, you're hearing those initial notes within the chord. We've got that gate of the auto volume opening up there. And what that gives us is that really nice swirl, that atmospheric roll in of the tone. And if I take it one step further, that as I'm hitting the F sharp there on my fourth finger, so. That last note there. So by the time I'm hitting that one, what's actually really cool about this is the auto volume gate is completely open and then the digital delay is coming in and really impacting that clean guitar sound. So you're getting two different sounds as if you've got a keyboard player in your ensemble. So I'll play through that again. So you can hear that down low, we've got the swell, and then up top of our voicing, you've got that delayed signal just kicking in and repeating to be, give you a very, very cool effect there. So that's something you can keep in mind with this one. You can hear there. that going on and effectively all I'm doing with a clean tone there is I've just got a D minor triad then I'm throwing the ninth on there and then just transposing it down a tone to C minor right I'm going to kick the effect on So exactly the same riff, but using those effects to create so much depth, so much texture. And imagine if you're an, your only guitarist in the band, you, there's so many options there of textures that you can create to bring different sounds and sonic capabilities to your ensemble, just using a few basic effects like that. So there we have it, people. That's our crash course on how to create some really awesome and luscious soundscapes on your instrument and help you stretch the capabilities of what the guitar can do either in a recorded situation in the studio or in a live situation if you're jamming with your friends or just want to experiment with different roles within the band. So if you appreciate the value of this lesson, smash those like, subscribe and share buttons. If you've got any questions or anything you'd like to share with me about how you create soundscapes, some ideas there, let's get the conversation going. You can drop the comments below, or if you're watching this on our website, the blog there, you can drop your questions or comments there. Love to hear from you people out there in YouTube land. 
Lastly, if you'd like to get my help personally with any challenges that you are facing on the instrument, the best way to do that is to book a tailored eight week video program where I will consult with you, have a look at where you're struggling on the instrument and come up with a tailored video course for you to run through it step by step to get you from where you are to where you wanna be in the shortest possible time. So as I mentioned before people, a lot of cool ideas. I'm going to put the settings for all of these pedals are gonna be on the blog post. So the link for that is going to be below. So jump on our website, check out the blog. There's gonna be more information and more ideas to continue on from this tutorial. Practice up, get stuck into it, get these sounds into your playing. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video.